Hey, this is a video explaining how to use Handoff, the AI estimating app on your computer. Um, Handoff is created as a mobile first app because we know contractors are constantly on the go needing to estimate from the job site or from their truck or from wherever. Um, but you're welcome to use it on your computer at any time if you like that bigger screen experience. To do so, go to the website handoff.ai. Easy as that. Um, once you're there, you'll be on our homepage where you can uh, if you want to, learn more about our company, learn about some of our testimonials, uh, learn about how we supercharge your remodeling business with AI, see some of our testimonials and some of our top construction suppliers. <clears throat> but if you're just looking to jump into the app, in the top right corner, you can click the buttons Login if you have an existing account, or if you're a new user, go ahead and click Start an Estimate, and you can start your estimate right away. Um, I have an account, so I'll click Login. Clicking Login will take me to the Login page. Um, because I've already logged in, um, I'll land right here into my estimates dashboard. Uh, now, if you're logging in for the first time on the computer, you will log in with that phone number you used at sign up. Um, you'll receive a six digit one time password that you'll type in. There's no password to memorize. Um, you'll simply, if you have your phone, you can log in with your phone number on the computer. So it's as easy as that. You just log in from your phone or with your phone number. Um, on your estimates dashboard, let's do a quick walkthrough of how um, Handoff is organized on the computer. Uh, this is a good general note. Everything you can do on the computer can also be done on your mobile phone. Everything on your mobile phone can also be done on the computer. Handoff is designed for complete um, uniform features between the two. And any estimates or any clients or anything you create on one device will be available on other devices as well. Um, so here for handoff on the computer, on the left hand side, you have your navigation bar. Um, you can go to the home page by any time, which is this estimates dashboard by clicking the handoff logo. Um, you can also click the word estimates to navigate to this estimates dashboard. You can click clients to navigate to your clients and see all your saved clients and their contact information or you can click settings, the third option, and you can manage your logo, you can manage your company settings, um, and your subscription details. And then finally, in the bottom left, there is the support option. If you click support, you can chat with our wonderful support team, uh, where you can click here and let us know any issues you're having or any feedback you have for us. Let's dig into estimates here, because that's the good stuff. Um, so estimates have uh, five statuses, draft, sent, approved, declined, and archived. They sound like they sound. When you send estimates out as proposals, they get moved to this sent status and this sent list. Um, when they get approved or declined by your client, they land into those appropriate buckets. And when you're all done and ready, you can move an estimate from approved to archived. Uh, let's make a new estimate together. You can click the green plus button in the top right corner to start a new estimate. When you get here, you can title your project. This is gonna be um, Jessica's kitchen remodel. And you can click our favorite button, which is this yellow use AI button. Uh, this button in the center of your screen, also available in the top right, is how you use handoff to generate estimates with AI. You will click on the button, and as it says here on the screen, use AI. What details would you like to provide about your estimate? During this step, this is where you enter some information about your project. Um, you describe your project to the AI as if you were talking to an estimator or to an employee of yours. Um, and based on your description, handoff will generate an estimate. So I'm going to describe here, this is a 150 square foot kitchen remodel. Remove and replace all finishes. That's it. Now you can be detailed, you can be um, vague if you'd like. Whatever information you have, uh, give it to handoff. The more descriptive you can be, the better your estimates will be. Um, if you're, if you don't have much to go on, feel free to enter uh, minimal information. We'll click apply. Great. Once you've generated your estimate with AI, um, you'll land here on this screen. At the top, you'll have the project title. Um, Great, once your estimate has been generated, you'll land on this screen. You'll see the title at the top. You'll see a description of the project from the AI, describing back to you uh, what it understood from your project. And you can scroll the estimate here at the center of your screen. Estimates are organized by 
group. So demolition, tile, cabinets, countertops, um, and every item has quantity times rate equals the total. You can edit any item on the computer by clicking an item and editing quantity cost on the right hand side. You can edit your markup at any time by clicking the markup cell at the bottom. It's modified from 20 to 40 percent. If you want to continue making adjustments to your estimate, say you need to update the labor rates or update the cost of cabinetry, you can click the yellow edit with Estim edit estimate with AI button. Anytime you see those sparkles, that's AI. You can give instructions here to update labor cost to a different total. Update cabinetry to high-end materials. And you can submit that information to update your estimate. Just click apply. Great, when you're all done with this, uh, you want to send this estimate to the client. You can move to the next phase. The next phase is converting your estimate to a proposal. To convert your estimate to a proposal, use the toggle at the top center of your screen. You have estimate here, and you can toggle to proposal on the right by clicking the word proposal. This shifts you over to the proposal phase. Proposals have three sections. The header, where you can update your company information, um, the client information, and the message to your clients. Below you have the estimate section, which summarizes up your estimate and puts down um, AI-generated summaries for you for each of the um, parts of your estimate. In the footer, you can attach files, you can add terms and conditions, and coming soon you'll be able to set up invoices such as for deposits and also take signatures. In the estimate section, um, actually, sorry, I'll start here with the header. Um, click on any module to complete that module. For instance, I can click on the add client module and I can type in one of my clients uh, to add that client and all of his associated um, email, phone number, and address to the project. You can add a client message here if you'd like by manually typing. Um, we'll also generate one for you with AI. You can edit any section by clicking on the three dots on the module and clicking edit. That'll pop up a little pop-up to walk through the changes you can make. Um, you can add, you can attach files by clicking attach file or add terms by clicking add terms. You can modify the layout of your estimate a little bit. This is a preview of how it'll show to the um, client. If you prefer just to show a lump sum total, you can hide all those by clicking the check the box on lump sum, which will just show the final total. You can uncheck that to show the group totals. Uh, you can click on the gear on the right side of the dark gray bar to toggle between the simple view, which is the AI summarized bullets, or the detailed view, which breaks everything out into line items for you. So up to you how you want to send that. When you're finally ready, you can click preview and send in the top right corner, this bright green button. And this will give you a proposal preview, which shows you exactly how the proposal will look to your client, nice and professional. And when you're ready, you can click the green button again, that says send proposal, which will verify if you want to send by text message, SMS, or by email. And that's all you need to know about how to use handoff on the computer. Thanks, bye.